it's your girl Nikki. I know it's been a minute since I've been on to actually show my face. I've been doing a lot of videos with like DIY and some things with the kids but it's been so much going on I decided um, it's been a minute since I've actually showed my face and I thought this would be a good time to do it because I wanted to do some unboxing of our Abeka Academy curriculum. So it's so much going on, like I said, in the world with Corona and schools now opening, virtual learning and things of that nature. And you may find yourself a little bit overwhelmed and thinking, what can I do? Should I continue on with the virtual learning with my uh, child's uh, school district or should we try a different curriculum? You so found yourself watching this video and you're just trying to figure out what is a Becca, what are the books, how do they look? Well, hopefully I can provide you with a little bit of information because when I first started, I really didn't know. I, I didn't have, really I didn't have a lot of information to go on and uh, we didn't have a large homeschool community like we started. I started in 2016, so that's not too long ago. So, you know, a lot has changed over the past four years. We started with our daughter who's nine years old. She'll be 10 the end of this year. And uh, we started with K-5. She did K-5, first grade, third grade, and, and about to enter into fifth grade. Now I know you're saying, what, what happened to third grade? I'm sorry, second grade. Well, um, she actually tested out because, uh, let me first start off with a Becca. A Becca Academy is um, a curriculum that is out of a Christian private school in Florida, Pensacola, Florida. And they provided, they came up with this curriculum for homeschool families as what initially was like for other Christian private schools. And then they decided to branch it out to homeschool. So for the streaming, they have two different types. You can have parent-led where you're the sole teacher and you're teaching the entire curriculum. Or they also have the streaming and that's what we've been doing since day one. And the streaming provides you with a little bit more comfort for those parents who may not feel may not feel comfortable with being the sole teacher. You know, like for myself, I was like, I do not have a degree in teaching. My um, husband's family are a family of educators, so I felt that weight and that pressure. For you, it might be different because you have become a homeschool parent overnight. And so you might be feeling like, what, you know, what are the best things? One of the things I love about Abeka, and you can see my little one back there, bad boy. <laughs> Um, one thing about Abeka that I really liked was the curriculum was Christ-based. So for those of you who are Christians and want more of a curriculum that ties Jesus into mostly all of the, um, the subject somehow, some way, then that might, this might be the curriculum for you. Now I will say about a, I will say about Abeka it is a it is not for the faint at heart so this particular curriculum they it's a lot of paperwork a lot of paperwork and some may say is a redundancy of the paperwork um and they start um cursive at k i know at k5 but i believe they start at k4 as well and so there are a lot of things that you know it just may be too much for you so I may do a separate video about what we've decided to do um, to make our lives a little bit better. But again, I just wanted to show you some of the books like I've never seen um, fifth grade yet. So this will be my first time I've seen first grade because my daughter did it. My son, who's five, he's about to, he'll be six at the end of this year. He is starting first grade with the Becca and he did K-5 last year. I believe it was the last year with Mrs. Reese. There he goes again. With Mrs. Reese, I absolutely love Mrs. Reese. She is the best, I think, at what she does. And um, so, without further ado, I'm gonna start unboxing and then I'll tell you um, some little nuggets here and there. What do you want, little boy? <laughs> okay, so with that being said, I have, this is a lot. This is the fifth grade. 
All right, so. I think I'm gonna switch this down so you guys can have a better look. Once I unbox it. Or maybe I won't. Okay. Comes in this big box here, full of stuff. All right, so I should have a paper. Just probably in the other one, so hold on. Okay, so here, for this particular stack of books, it breaks down what's all in here for grade five homeschool kid. I don't know if it's backwards for you guys. Hopefully it's not. And uh, so we start off at the top is the spelling vocabulary in poetry five. You have your old world. And you know what, normally what I do is I, I check these off. So I might do that while I'm going. Kill two birds with one stone. And so this is old world history and geography and Christian perspective. So again, like I said, they try to blend Christ in all of this. Enjoying good health. That's the third edition. I believe fifth grade was upgraded the video and maybe the books this past year investigating God's world. You'll get that, I believe, in first grade too. First grade also. You have reading, answer key. So that's for, my, for the parents. So you have the old world history and geography. So you have that, the book. This is the maps and activity. And this is Oh, this is the students that's the answer key yep yeah. and then we have another answer key all right I like to keep those together and so then when I said showed you enjoying good health that's the workbook let's see let's look in here <laughs> I don't know my flowers just fell so um yeah it's just the book and they read and here is the answer key for the best, I'm sorry, enjoying good health. And then an answer key for investigating God's world. So it's another workbook. And what I'm gonna do, what I've learned, is I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try my best not to write in the books and keep the fifth grade books for, um, when, when my son gets older. All right, so we have arithmetic five. And let's just take a look real quick and what they're doing like one of the first weeks. So, and then of course you have your answer key. You have language, writing, grammar, work text, B. That's the answer key and of course the workbook. And I'll let you take a look at the workbook. Just a little glance. It's probably backwards. So then we're coming to the books. Some of the books that they read. Windows to the World, Beyond the Horizon, Noah Webster, Rosa. That sounds interesting. You can have my son in the background. Of America. And then you have art. It says B. I don't know what B means. But some of the things, and then I believe at the, the front, it tells you all of the, um, or the back. Which one is it? Anyway, one of these, it tells you all of the materials you'll need for the year. If I can find it. Supply list. So that's in that pack. And then I have another. Oh. You have penmanship. It's still all grade fives. 
Adventures in Nature, Speed, Comprehen Speed and Comprehension Reader. Some more old world history. Ooh. So you have the quizzes and you have the, the key to that. And then you have test. So they have a separate test. A lot of these normally have the quizzes and the test included, but I guess with this one, um, they did it differently. The same with enjoying good health, I guess. Here's a student, see like this was a student quizzes, test and worksheets all in one. And then the test key. I mean the key to that one, the teacher's key. Investigating God's world, the same thing the test, so the other one you saw, I think was the worksheets. Spelling and vocabulary. Language. Read and comprehend school sheets. Oh, investigating God's world. So this is the quizzes and worksheets. Arithmetic, this must be the test. Yeah, speed drills, test. So what you'll find in arithm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, in the arithmetic of a Becca, they have a lot of speed drills. For us, I decided to keep things more simple because initially I, we were doing everything. The seat work, we were doing speed drills, we were doing all of it. And it just got so overwhelming. So we cut that out. And then, of course, this here is everything that will tell you from the first day to the last day. Um, and this is more so geared toward, like I said, it's more geared towards uh, schools. A lot of Christian private schools use this curriculum and use this, and they actually use the video. But I'm gonna show you first day. They call it daily guide, so I'm trying to open up. So it has a breakdown of that day, all what's gonna go on in each subject. And it goes all the way, I believe they have 170 days. Um, you need to pick, check with your local state to see um, how do you enroll your kids in homeschool? What are the laws in doing that? And then how many days? So like I believe, like I said, this is 100, is it 169 or 170? Yeah, 170. But like in the state of Michigan, we have 180 days that we have to do. All right, so that is first, I'm sorry, fifth grade. And then what I'm going to do is what I do with the kids stuff. Uh, the first year with Nia, we just, I, I took everything out and I had a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I had the colors. I'll show you the little binder thing that I had and we just did it that way. Uh, we did that for two years. And then the last year I kind of just, because we changed things and we did not do a Becca every single day because I wanted to incorporate other curriculums. And then we had, um, we were doing a lot of more homeschool group outings and learning in that manner. And just to try to keep things more, you know, just a little bit lighter because it was becoming overwhelming for us because each child is different and uh, you need to know what's best for your child. So I'll do another video on that. But that's first, I mean, fifth grade. So first grade, bend it. Okay, I thought I was clean. This is a good 20 pounds. All right, so let me move these out the way so I don't get these all mixed up. Okay, so now we have, we're in first grade. So we have My America and My World. Oh, this takes me back when my daughter was in first grade. Community Helpers, 
I'm sure I still have some of this stuff, but we wrote in, wrote in a lot of it. All right, so we have Health, Safety, and Manners, Discovering God's World. We have one there, but it's, this is the first grade edition. Bible Friends, activity book. So you're going to have first, um, first grade writing tablet. I think you get two or three of these, three. And in that, it's just blank pieces of paper will come in handy because uh, if you guys do the writing, um, whether it's uh, manuscript or cursive, you want to have enough paper. So we have the arithmetic teacher's key and the work. And let me let you see what that looks like. It kind of starts off really slow, you know, easy. And then by the time you're, you're working your way, you're doing greater than, less than, you know, you have that. We have spelling and poetry. This is just the book. Yeah, the workbook. So we have language and this is seat work. Is all that seat work? I believe so. And then the teacher's key. And then you actually have the test. So they have test. And for those, some people don't like to, you know, test their children, but teach them. So you also with a Becca, you could do accredited and non-accredited. So accredited, you send in all of your paperwork and then they actually grade it and send it back. And I've been told it's been, they're, they're not, um, they don't play in regards to how they grade. So they're pretty tough. However, for some, some of your states, you must, you may have to have the accredited. And then, especially like if you're in high school from my understanding. So again, know your laws in your state. So we have reading. Um, this looks different from the one we had. It's the answer key, but. So here are some of the books they will read. The Primary Bible Reader. I'm just trying to go through these real quick, guys. This is a lot of them. All right, and then you have your art projects. Just like the fifth grade, it will tell you all of the, I mean, they do it for fall, Christmas, Valentine's Day, you name it. Um, but it will give you the list of the materials you may need. And what is this? Nope, call. Oh. So of course you have your list. But also your cards, your cursive cards. And if our room wasn't messed up, I mean, it looks crazy. I mean, like, why is my daughter's sheet from her bed down over there? Anyway, so as you can see, you have these cards. And a good nugget, get some of those um, sleeves, those uh, sheet sleeves, protector sleeves. And then so the kids can be able to just trace it. So that's a little nugget that you can do. This is first grade, right? All right, so let me get the other. I'm back. <laughs> All right, so. Um, you're going to find yourself another sheet. Hey, this is short. Of what's listed here. This is much lighter than all of the ones. And that's going to consist of letters and sounds, the test, and might as well let you guys look and see. 
So phonics, they're real big on phonics. Special sounds, special blends. Arithmetic with the speed drills and test. Like I said, um, teach his own. Do what's best for you and your family because quite frankly, you could find yourself doing school for about six hours, six to eight hours. <laughs> all the paperwork all right so this is phonics and cursive so it first starts off you know and then it builds now my daughter she took cursive much better than my son my son was like again this is your best friend And it just goes through the days. And then it also has time where, you know, for reading, for uh, seat work. So for if you have a child that gets done with their work and stuff, and seat work is, a, it, it, it's, it was used for schools to fill in time when you have, you know, more time on your hands. So I'm going to pull, why did I do that to myself? Oh, here it is. Just so you can see, the two items that are going to be your best friends. These. All right, so that is the unboxing of fifth grade and first grade for a Becca. Um, I really hope that you all, if you decide to do a Becca, let me know and, and we can try to communicate and keep in touch. If you have any questions or whatever, um, because again, I when I first started, it was um, not fun. I'm gonna do a separate video on that, just talking about our experience because I it's kind of long already, and I tried. I'm trying to um, edit this down, <laughs> so you guys will be like, "All right, Nikki, you talk too much." But again, thank you so much for watching. I know whatever you decide, it will be the best for you and your family and your children. Do not allow anyone, no outside people to push you one way or the other on what's best for you, your family, and your children, okay? And also know this, you can do this, all right? You can do this because the Bible says, um, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So we already, we're already equipped, even if we feel like we're not equipped. So. I just want you to know that I am on your side. I am rooting for you. You all are going to do fantastic, okay? So don't forget to breathe in, breathe out. Hopefully this, you know, you kind of get a glimpse of just the unboxing of the curriculum. And uh, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Switches!